If you hear Loretta Dexter Bannerman Martin, who do you think it is? You, you don't know who it is. Did you even know she was called Loretta? Did you know? Uh, you didn't. Well, yes, everybody calls her Abba Dope, and she joins us on the day show today. Make some noise! First of all, how long does it take you to get ready? Um, Let's say hair, makeup, <laughs> clothes, everything. To be ready to leave the house for an event. For like um, two hours. Two hours? Yes. Okay, that's not too bad. I thought you were going to say four hours or something. No, please. No, but you look really nice. Thank and you. And you're welcome to the day show. I'm so excited. Are you? Yes. Well, are you excited to have her on the show as well? Yes. First of all, even before I come to her, is the microphone with anyone? I just want to find out from you, when was the first time you heard about Abba Dope? And what made you stick to her? Who wants to speak? The biggest fan of Abba Dope in the house. Okay, there's a lady in white. Hello. All right, talk to us. My name is Alfreda. So the first time I heard of Abba Dope, I didn't actually see her. I heard a sound on Snap. Okay. And then it was trending. It was trending. It keep trending. It keep trending. Then one day I was like, no, let me find, find, find out her. what's behind this sound. So then I followed the sound and then I got to know that she's the one. What was the sound? What was she saying? Um, she was saying, should you tell everybody <laughs> that I was black? And am I a red? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? And, and it's something that you've never hidden from. You've always told a story about how yes. you were dark before yeah. and you had to touch your skin a bit. Yes. Because what, you didn't feel pretty? Yeah. That's why you did that. That's why. I see. How, since you made that revelation, how have people treated you? Have they responded um, in a weird way? I think um, when you speak your truth, people respect your truth. So since I came out and I was like, this is how it was, this was how I was, I was before, and now I'm this. Uh, people that were subjected to my story mm -hmm. understood me, and they respect my decision. So, yeah. If you had your way, would you have still done the things you did when you were younger, just because you felt or because your teacher said you weren't pretty? As it stands now, there is no regret. You, you don't have any regrets? my life, yeah. None at all? No. But you've learned from mistakes, I'm A sure. A lot. What is the, that one mistake that has taught you the greatest lesson? One mistake that has taught me the greatest lesson is I like way be. I buy pedal confanti. I want confanti. I'm in some practice in the fancy. I'm not a day show. I'm not buffing you. I'm not one. I'm not fancy. I'm not one. Because what I say? Any other thing I say? Carry on. So I was in love with some way be out at Coco Memle near Plant Station. So when I was in nursing school, when we vacate, I always go and visit him over there. Mm -hmm. One day he told me he has gotten a visa, he's traveling. I was like, why not? It's good news. But when he got there, he, he called me and he was like, his marriage were Turkish. Hmm. And what pained me was, the mom was always making me do milk. Muluk shumoku wa sankim. The things that I can't even do at my home. Uh -huh. Because my house, when my mom would be like, when we were cooking, we're not at the kitchen. Yeah. So we're not going to give you. Oh. Yeah. Just for you to always be, be like Part a woman, it, she's yes. home training. Uh -huh. But when I go to the boy's mom's house, oh, mama, konsu. Hey. No, mama, chumo, komo, konu, pono, asha, man, because the family was about 12 people. In the age, you need No, we beti. No, 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 beti. Hey. You were doing this for a, a man who had not married you? Yes. Nya, mama, yay. What even got me so, so, so head was. My men on my new corner dress, supporting those things. Some little hey, wait, 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 hold on. You are washing the underpants or the supporter of your to be father in law. Yes, how? Because in Ghana and in my motherhood, uh -huh. Cape Coast and Western region, a bubain. Now, I I read the snap, but you know, well, well, then yama. And when you are tired, in panel, And and he left you and went to marry a Turkish woman. Oh, if after everything that I did, though, we shouldn't be ungrateful in life. He supported me when I was in secondary school. Mm. Provisions, milona, the benya conflicts, some the conflicts. Some people no be able to do That's why you were trying to make to take her. And it's like I wasn't in for what he had to offer, but then yeah. I felt like. It goes and it comes. Yes. So if I have also sacrificed some of my part of my life 
-hmm. your family. You should give me that respect. Mm -hmm. But she, he called me and he was like, Abba, I have moved on and mm -hmm. I'm married to a Turkish. That time I was in nursing school, mm -hmm. final year. So I had to just focus on my examination and this is me today. I know, but, but you must have been heartbroken at that time. That time, no, I'm not heartbroken. No, I'm not heartbroken because if ever since he told me he's married to a Turkish, I called the mom, hey, man, to them net, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be after I, I voiced out, I was just okay. I moved on and yeah, that was it. Have you heard from him since? Yeah. I traveled to China and he was in the same country, but unfortunately the distance was huge. So we couldn't see each other, but mm -hmm. when I need something, I'll just call him and he was giving me the directions. Okay. Teaching me some one or two so I can say we are still friends. Did he apologize? Oh, I apologize in the while. I apologize a long time. So I'm just speaking or telling the story because it's my past. So if you have to base, you know, your advice to young people on this story, what would you tell them? If you try as much as possible to push or go where you're not accepted, you will never be accepted. Yeah. If you please them, you keep impressing, you'll never be yourself. At the end of the day, they will get what they want from you, but for you to get what you want, you'll be disappointed. Exactly. So in this life, by slow motion. Slow motion. I, I see that things have been interesting for you. You grew up in uh, the Western region? Or yeah. Central? Western I was region. born in Cape Coast. Okay. But I grew up in Takara, the Western region. In Takara, so at what point did you come to Accra? Uh, like I said, when I was in a relationship with Cal, oh. I'll go and I'll come during vacation. He was the first person that made me visit Accra. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the Kufo bus. Them tell Kufo bus, naba. Yeah. So I was in the bus. Well, my name is Yogurt. Now they on the hill, but you're ping pong. Now I'm tamam. Yeah. Chewing gum. Now I'm tamam. And the bus too will stop at a point. We mm -hmm. go and urinate, and we go to the filling station. Yeah. We grab some ice cream, pop in, and you know, we're yeah, yeah, yama. So he, 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 he was the first person that made me experience Accra. So did you eventually? You are nurse now. Yes. Professionally. A degree nurse. A degree nurse. Do yes, you practice please. that? No. When I came to Ghana, I was practicing at Kolebu, mm -hmm. but I had other plans. I okay. was um, selling clothes and female shoes and all that. Okay. I mean, unisex clothing. Mm. I was taking it round. I borrowed one guy's car. It was the things where the boot, I was driving it around, going to apartment, trying to sell them. Mm -hmm. So I was able to sell everything. Then the profit I made, I, I tried to just think about something that I can get money every day. Mm -hmm. Then I went to food business. So this is someone who didn't even like to go to the kitchen much when she was no, younger. No. And then now you're running a food business. Yeah. When did you open your first ever food joint? Okay, um, 2019 ending to 2020. Mm -hmm. So um, 2019, December 23rd yeah. was my first restaurant opening. And then by March, there was COVID? So there was COVID before December. You said 2019? Yeah, the COVID was 2019. I know, but then there was like the whole, you know, the, shutdown. Yeah, the shutdown like thing, weeks, I was yeah. doing nursing. Oh, you were doing yeah, nursing at that time. That you time. see, everybody was um, in the house. Yes, yes, yes. But those of us who were working with the government, mm -hmm. we were, we were um, asked to come out and serve. Okay. So that time I was selling some medication called Koa FX. Mm -hmm, I remember so that. people will patronize me and I'll go to their houses to do oh. deliveries myself because as at that time, you were not allowed to come out. And yes. I was still working with Kolebu, Kolebu that time as well. So do you miss nursing? Oh, I, I, we are in our group chat. We, we always chat. Okay. I mean, it, I'm not, I've not deleted. There's a certificate that whenever I raise it, I can practice yeah. at any time. But, but anybody who say that if you have a degree as a nurse, the first thing anybody would think about is traveling to maybe the UK or US, you know, because then you make a lot of money. But yeah. you decided to stay behind and yeah. venture into something else. UK is a good country. Mm -hmm. But I have friends that they are doing nursing there. They can even ask me for money. Hey. Yeah. In Tumania and Burr, wherever everyone is. Uh -huh. in, uh, it's everyone's dream to be a step up in life. Mm -hmm. But... I look at not the beauty of the place, but what you will get, your comfort, the determination you have, will that place drive you to achieve it? Yeah. So I calculate all these things and I'll look at, hmm, probably some of my friends were fortunate, they have some 
families over mm -hmm. there, they will support them, they will hold them down, they will grant them accommodation and yeah. all that. But looking at me, I don't have any family there, mm -hmm. so I didn't rush to go, to there. go there. Even though I went to China to uh, further my education. Okay. And Is that where you took your degree as Yes, please. Oh, okay. At China, I knew nobody there. I went there as a stranger, mm. but I was able to maneuver my way through the country because I was doing some side businesses. I was teaching English. Even though I was a lion, a lion, a lion, a lion, a lion, a lion, but China, no. I got a lion, do you know what they Because my first job there, I was yeah. sacked. Oh. Yeah. Why? When I went there, I didn't know we are supposed to pronounce Thursday uh -huh. on our tongue, like Thursday. Oh. We are kind of Thursday, but what's that, you know? I went to school and 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 I went to school. Oh, no. And my second school to shim was sacked. No, so we send a lion. What kind of lion? What kind of lion? Oh, a lion! A lion! A lion! That's a tail. She no more for money now. I saw what she stabbed. Then we say, hey, more for my. No, no, there are cameras and everything there. Oh. So that one too, I got sacked. Then now we go to YouTube. Uh huh. We call Google. It's more about one word to one word. Yeah. Lion. We say lion. Hey, today we share share every time in a minute. So Anthony, so so you know, you know, you know. Yeah. You are now learning. I was now. Putting all those things together, wow. because even though we were taught that that was that is our like, traditional pronunciation, mm -hmm. but when you travel in China, you put one kaze bazaar, you put one put one taste. Exactly. Bella, no easy, no easy cry. Does it mean that our educational system needs to be improved? When it comes to pronunciation, for me, I think we need. To, but when it comes to Environmental stage in our room, in our day. That one, yeah, 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 yeah champion in it. Very, very We're good. very good at that. So, at the moment, how many food joints do you have? I have three. You have three? Yes, So, please. the first one you opened, where was that? Um, also, uh, Cantonment. Cantonment. Yeah. What's it called? Feelings. Feelings? Yeah, feelings. Why did you name it feelings? Me, yelling feelings. Why do if you had taste feelings, <laughs> F E E L I N G. Okay. S. S. Feelings. feelings. Then I was like, mm, it burn them. that word is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, let me just twist it. Mm -hmm. So one friend of mine was like, make it F I L L I N N Z. Okay. Like chicken in, pizza in, uh -huh. filling. Filling. Yeah. Okay. And that's how you named it. Yes, please. How easy was it to build that business? Did you struggle a bit? I didn't struggle. Oh. In fact, I think God knew how I started. I was number no twenty young mama uh, spoons. Okay. When I closed from school, when I was in primary school, uh -huh. at the market, everybody knows me. I was selling every day from mm. from Beach Road to number one. Okay. Those who are in Takradi will know what I'm talking about. Mm. From there to the market every day after school. Mm. So um I think God saw my journey. He he saw my determination and he knew where to place me because my whole life has been a struggle, mm -hmm. but I have been lucky. Yeah. When I say lucky, I have had people that pushed me. Mm -hmm. Like primary school leaders, my headmistress, may her soul rest in perfect peace, Amen. Mrs. Evelyn Kwafui, she held me down. She was a caterer aside being the headmistress. Ah. So when I was like a maid, a mm. maid that was learning, that was ready to learn, I was living in her house, uh, cleaning the dishes, mm -hmm. going to her with um, funeral ceremony to okay. go and cook and a whole lot. So, so is that I where learned, you learned it from? Yeah, I learned a lot from her. Then I think secondary school to one of my friends, her name is Gadiba. Mm -hmm. Her father also helped me with my fees and mm. all that. And my second, third term provisions to I met Carlo Dro. Yeah. He was also helping me with my provisions and things. Then right after school, I entered nursing training. For that one too, I had people that were, were donating, helping, helping yeah. me throughout. Then China, mm -hmm. I did my degree. I was like, this is my life. This, yeah. this is the time for you to take control over your life. How did the China come about, by the way? The China came about, I met one guy on Snapchat. Uh -huh. His name was Emmanuel. He was like, nursing, no. Sika wom, but Michelle mm -hmm. bread. So if you really want to add something, I think you should come to China, further your education and get the business to do. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I've heard in China you cannot go and teach as a Ghanaian. Yeah. Unless you you are a foreigner like um Megoran, mm -hmm. American. Mm -hmm. If you are Fajoran, that is Ghanaian, you cannot teach. Mm. Or you are a South African, 
that he can teach. Okay. I was like, how can I do it when I come? And to my bear, you know, the money that I was, I was having was $600. I changed it to RMB, which is Chinese money. Mm -hmm. I went to pay an agent. He gave me my Goren passport. Which is South African? American pa passport. Yeah, oh, wow. black American. Hey. Yeah. So that's why your slangs are yeah. American like that. Yeah. <laughs> so when I went there, my skin color, no, you know, when you are bleaching, you don't have a uniform skin. So when I got there, you no, know, I was having patches all around my skin. So the guy advised that I have to fix my skin. Mm -hmm. And you know, in China, I've been kupapa. Mm -hmm. I checked the internet and I realized there was an African shop around Guangzhou. I went there and I bought one cream. Mm -hmm. I started using, I made my hair Afro. Okay. Muko Google. No, Mushe, a black American. Yeah. Who the woman we know, kills Afro. Me, yeah, kills Afro. No, I can imitate someone. Okay. So I was able to do it and. I told you before, my first interview, I had a job, yeah, but I was but sad. You, yeah. My second interview, I, so I, I went to China basically because of Emmanuel's advice. Oh, I see. But when I was going, I didn't have money for flight. So another man, Mr. K, he got me the China visa. Mm. He was like, he has been doing it for people. Gwen, where can give me back the money? They don't mm -hmm. do it. I was like, man, for being born, boss, you born. Exactly. Just give me a chance. I went there, just within four to five months, I was able to secure a job. After sitting in the house and learning how the pronunciation, abbreviation, construction, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. comprehension, hey, I mean all the hey. grammar, putting them together, I'm like, I'm ready to fight. Yeah. So when I go to school and I'm done with lectures, I go to people's houses to go and teach. The first house was my neighbor, so I come. Oh. That woman is wicked. Oh. Because you are my neighbor. Exactly. And I'm teaching your son and I make one mistake. And the woman was you. in front of the child, the woman called backstage. Oh. In front, I said, Mommy, the way you're pronouncing, are you sure you're black American? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ma, I'm black American. Hey. You know my name. I'm Cassandra. Hey. I didn't use my name. Use a different no, name. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Cassandra McJohnson. Hey. You didn't have to quote China. He said, I'm going to go to the I see, that's interesting. Anyway, back to the conversation about the restaurant. So how long did you run that before opening this new one? By the way, congratulations. Thank you, Bella. On that. Okay, um, during my first year with Feelings, mm. the same year, I was like, I want to be at East Ligon. Mm -hmm. So I was driving around um, looking for spaces. Then fortunately for me, I was searching for the space for two weeks. Mm -hmm. When I go, the prizes, Thousand dollars, eight hundred dollars, six hundred. I'm like, hey, about one after I make chasse. I wanted something like three hundred dollars at least or yeah. at most. Mm -hmm. So, lucky for me, I had um, one house that there was a space in front of mm -hmm. the house. I pictured the place and I was gonna give it a try. I went to knock the door, it was dogs. That was, hey, 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 Mr. Hey, brother, you have a So, I was a brother, no, you have a dog, so you have a tell, be number one. So, lucky for me, the gate man or the security came out and she was like he was like what do i want so i want to talk to the landlord of this place mm -hmm. he was like oh, okay let me call him he called them and they were chinese oh yeah it was chinese who bought the property wow. so the chinese woman the wife his workers and everything the man owes 11 chinese restaurants in ghana huh so when i told him i'm coming to do restaurant at your premises he was like oh come in come in so i came in they gave me water I started speaking Chinese with them. They were like, oh, a young lady wants to do such a thing. Okay, fine. But you have to go to AMA, go here. If yeah. they give you the permission, you are good to go. Wow. I was like, that is not even the most important thing. How much exactly. are you taking in a month? He started from $800. Ooh. I'm like, hey, who's your name? Hey, I'm about to lose $800. <laughs> and I was like, he was like, you know what? I should, create, I should make an offer through a letter. I made an offer and I was like, I can afford $300. And he took the offer. Wow. Yeah. He gave me that huge space. Wow. <laughs> so when I, I had the offer, I thought of something to do on the land because it was a bare land. Mm -hmm. And since I was in China, I was like, let me do a Chinese concept, an open kitchen with a wooden structure and a glass. Mm -hmm. So I just quickly did one or two things and 
the East Legon branch was, was And open. here you are today. Yeah. Owner of three restaurants. Yes, please. There was something that struck me when you were opening, and I was following it on social media, and I saw that Anama McBrown made a, a pledge to you. Yeah that she she had told you from the day she met you that she was going to be the brand ambassador for yeah. your restaurants yeah. with no charge. Yeah. And you were crying about yeah. that. Tell me, how are you feeling? Um, I have been, I don't want to say copying, but I love some things about Nanama that even if I use the word copying is the right word because mm -hmm. she knows I copy her a lot. I see her as my mentor. And when you see someone as your mentor, you want to leave a life that is exemplary to the person. Yeah. Because first, I'm a boost Yeah, I'm a scared. I'm a I'm a I'm a Even if it was, it's not coming out, I'm a form. That's what? Hey! I'm a I'm So when I had a chance to be at Media General, I was like, no, you have to change your ways because now you're no longer a kid. You are running a restaurant, you are a nurse, and people are watching. So I just try to change one or two things about myself. So I'll go to Nanama's page, and I'll be looking at her dressing when she comes oh, on TV. Okay. I'll be looking at her, how she sews it. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll tell you, but she has Inspired one. Inspired by her. Yeah, oh, she wow. has one. She has the same thing. I see. <laughs> yeah. OK. And this hair, she has one too. Hey. Yeah. So she knows. OK. She knows. So I told her, I didn't, I didn't meet her. If I want to see someone, I want to let time and God decide. Because at times when you rush to the person, yeah. maybe it's not God's will, things will not go as well mm -hmm. as you planned. So I just took my time and one day I was there, I had a call and she wanted to interview me. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh wow. So it's, it's a privilege. So yeah. when I went, I met her, we hugged and she was like, hey, Oh. Then I was just like, hey, I'm the mouth of you, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so that was how we met. And she told me that if you are a lady and you are really into business, you are forcing, putting in more energy, she basically admires that. Mm -hmm. So she would love to help. And I was like, oh, then I'm coming to open a new branch at Osu, mm -hmm. which when I was even telling her about the Osu branch, I was almost done. Like probably like a week to my opening. Yeah. She was like, wow, she would love to go and see the place. I was like, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. When I went with her, she saw the place, she was like, wow, Abba. I'm like, Nana, man, could you be our one seed in pool? You did this by yourself. All for my previous prophet. Yeah. She was like, wow, I'm proud of you. Mebwa. Wow. Mebwa. And that was it. And that was it. God bless Anama, and God bless you for the incredible things you're doing. But, I mean, aside all of this, you've also built a strong following on social media with yeah. your very funny videos and audios and stuff. It's like everybody listens to you and they're laughing. How did you get the dope? <laughs> Inti, I'm a dope. Takwa, there was one boy, his name is Rambo Style. Hey. Yeah, Rambo. When I say Rambo, then you should know the Nyema Binani. Yeah. Because where I used to stay, at Takrade, the place is called Amanful. Mm -hmm. Amanful, we have some corner, we call it Go Mango. Hey. Go Mango, they want to rascals and like those things, not Kodo mm -hmm. So I was a Go Mango. So you can know where I was. Exactly. So the Rambo star was there. So whenever I come, my local name is Mami Abba. Mm. So he was like, Mami Abba dope. I grew up there, but I never adapted none of the yeah. things they do. Which I would say, everyone in their decision, I respected whatever decision they, they chose at that time, but in we informal, but I was also thinking about my way through. Mm -hmm. So, Rambo Star gave me the dope, and I made okay. it about dope, and I, I tattooed it on my, my skin. Oh, yeah. so, so that's the name that has that come was, to yeah, stay. That's the name. That's it's never going to gonna change. Yeah, because people hardly even know my. My, my real That's name. That's why when I asked you what your real name was, and you said Loretta Dexter Bannerman Martin, I yeah. was like, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so you are, are you Fanti or Yagan? Me a Fantini. Me a Fantini. Yeah. Okay, Bannerman Martin, okay. Yeah. Well, there could be some guys who could be called that as well. Yeah, That's the guns are Bannerman. Yes. And some are Martin. Yes. But when you hear Dexter Bannerman Martin, straight K. Oh, it's from Cape Coast. Yes, please. Now, like I said, you've built a strong following on social media. It's like people go crazy when they see your videos and stuff. How did you do that? What was it that worked for you? So, by to say inside, into me fancy, which you would say, baby. When I was in all my schools, I wasn't the entertainment prefect. 
I was some of them I was SU prayer hey. secretary. Hey. Yes. But you bomb pen mo be fini bad do she form. It was deadly. Yeah. Then nursing school I was singing. I think secondary school I was singing because my teacher asked me to sing mm -hmm. and I started singing. Then nursing school I was singing but when you go to the dormitory I create some jokes, mm -hmm. not really joke, but like my tonation when I talk, I will see that everybody is laughing. Yeah. And I was the room monitor, like okay. the prefect. And say, boy, my banana say you're dead here. Now we the banana shall then I say, now me, hey, be a dad, miss D. Hey. In the school for me D. Hey. And when it comes to Saturdays too, they call me DJ Coco. Hey. I'm always by the DJ side. Mm -hmm. I'm not the and Jumon by eighteen to take a shaman. Maria saw the same person in Bruno Macquarie in a park. My God, the same day. Yeah. You see, I was exhibiting a lot of life in one person. Mm -hmm. People will be laughing. My teachers, they love me. And when I, I entered Accra, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I didn't have anyone to, you know, yeah. be talking to and be playing around and all that. So I heard something was TikTok. Mm -hmm. But I, I started with Snapchat. Okay. Where that is where people knew Got me know, yeah. more. Snapchat, well, I'll come and talk about sex, okay. health. Okay. Like, and I'll make it very, very funny. Like, hey, 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 hey. who gave the sickness to who? And everybody would be replying. Mm -hmm. It was Kojo. It was like I was very entertaining on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. So whenever I do it, people will be laughing. I'm like, okay then, let me just come to TikTok. But I didn't come to TikTok. I came to TikTok like three months ago. Oh. I didn't come, yeah, just three months I downloaded. I didn't come there to joke. Yeah. It was, it was my classmates who came to <laughs> try me. And you had to bring out your yeah, real Yeah, I took some video. My first like video, I went to do like post-action, my body. I came, I fixed my skin, even mm -hmm. though the journey, it wasn't easy, you can see yeah. some patches and all that, but people were complimenting me. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's dope, I agree, I agree. Only my classmates. She wants everybody to know they know near me. Yeah. Oh, Finan could say Nana, ah. Hey, your skin, no. I remember you were black. Hey! Now you are red. Hey! On the comment section where everybody will see. Exactly. I didn't know you can even delete message. I didn't know one, but to be an fool. Then I was like, okay, there is TikTok live. Let me go to life and call her out. Mm -hmm. So I call her. Her name is Pearl. I have a picture with her on our TikTok, mm -hmm. the three of us. I said, Pearl, why? I could say, Pearl, why? Do you have to tell everybody mm -hmm. that I was black and am I a red? Yeah. I was talking like I'm yeah. angry. Yeah. I was just, you know arguing with myself on the live. Mm -hmm. So I think the bloggers picked that little bus. Oh. They joined them together and I saw people. Yeah. It was a challenge and people were just Oh, they were also doing it. Everybody, I think, not everybody, like people that saw it to be funny. Yeah. Uh, hop on it and uh -huh. they were all using the challenge. And that was how Abba do TikTok. I say, hey. That's no, no, I'm I'm exactly. So that was That's how it happened. That's just how. Happened, how yeah. I mean, you say you have no regrets at all, but no. if you have to advise any young person about skin bleaching, for example, what would you say to them? So yeah. what I would advise us not to do is don't look at someone and be in a rush to do it. To do it, yeah. Don't consider your age, consider your moment, consider your financial status, that are you really up for it? Don't think Abba did it and Abba survived. I'll go and do it and I'll survive. Abba's... Um, Hormonal balances are different from yours. Exactly. But like I said, if you do a thorough body checkup, when you check yourself very well, you've seen that you don't have any allergies, you don't have any chronic diseases like alcoholic mm. liver diseases, like kidney problems, like um, fibrosis, mm -hmm. like um, um, fibroids, all these things need to be checked before you engage in such um, surgery. Yeah. Because the surgeon, if you're not lucky, he wouldn't be able to remote you to find out all these things about you exactly. as an individual. So you yourself, you have to know yourself, talk to yourself, look for your financial means, be ready to do it, be Before. stable in financial aspect. Because if you be like, oh, me boys, the boys are my 
Now most of the boys are realizing that most of the girls are plastic. Do you want one again? The whole world. Continue. Be smart. Well, be smart. And that's how we wrap up the conversation. Abba, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Bella. And how do we find you? Of course, I'm sure people know how to find you on social media. But if they want to visit your restaurant or anything, how do they contact you? Restaurants, no, yeah, you're when they go to Frankie's, I'm just behind Frankie's. I'm in the middle of Republic Bar. Oh, okay. When you just put food just. Mm -hmm. My restaurant is two, but on one location. Mm -hmm. I have Dedo and I have food just. The food just is the continental aspect of the mm -hmm. restaurant, and Dedo is a local dish. But on the Google map, food just. Made it banic. The 50 city is simple. Be for free D. Come, come, be great. And if you want to call me, you can call me on 055-306-7269. All right. 055-306-7269. That's my personal WhatsApp. If you want to place an order purposely for business, if you want to place an order or you want further location, just WhatsApp me. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. I'm a huge fan of you. Are you? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we need to come and learn some entrepreneurial skills from you as well. Of course. So we'll be there. It'll be a pleasure. All right. Make some noise for Abba Doe. All right. Okay. And well, we've had a very interesting conversation with her. I hope you've picked a thing or two from her. But most importantly, it's a brand new year and we wish you the very best this year. I hope you've enjoyed today's edition. Yes. Filter, how about you? You've enjoyed? Well, on that note, thank you all so much for watching the day show. And we will see you again next week. Until then, my name is Bella Moody. It's been a pleasure. Enjoy the rest of the day.